What is going on guys? It's Rob aka Flight Sim Today and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get custom views like this and like this from the flight deck. Let's go. Uh, 415, I've always wanted to say this, thanks for the opportunity, direct the weed. Yeah, direct weed, back goes 415, right on brother. So the first thing you want to do is load up the simulator, um, be that in the aircraft or in the sim itself on the menus. And we want to go into the menu for controls. Okay. Now when we're in the controls, make sure you have your keyboard selected and that filters is set to all. In the search by name, type in camera. Okay. From here. The one we're looking at, and the most important one for here, is cockpit camera. And in the cockpit camera, we need to be able to have the ability to save custom camera views. And by this, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are all the numbers of the different views. So in here, you want to set it for something that when you press the button combination at the view you're currently at, it will save it. So for example, on mine, I have the right control key the right alt key, and then the number representing on the number pad to what I want. For example here, to save the custom camera zero, which is right control, right alt, plus number zero on the pad, corresponds to the camera zero. And you'll see when I do alt and zero, alt one, alt two, it cycles through these. And you'll see here that zero, one, two, three. So essentially from here, that once you've found the view you want okay is you want to go in and then go whatever camera you know the the view you saved it at so for me if i'm moving around the camera they're moving around the cockpit i should say and i get to this point um then i'm happy with that i will do my control alt and in this case it's number eight on the keypad and then Whenever I press Alt and 8, it's going to move there. I can do Alt 5 and Alt 2. So Alt and keypad 0 take me to my standard kind of flight deck, flying view. Alt 2 is my uh, CDU. Alt 5 is looking down at the whole of the pedestal. And Alt 8 is that kind of like GoPro forward looking at the nose. My 1, 4 and 7 three, six, nine are basically looking at the wing. Okay. As you'll see here. And to do that, we need to manipulate the settings or, or some settings slightly um, from within your folders. So let's go take a look at that now. Okay. So we need to manipulate a file uh, before we can, uh, change any settings or change those custom camera views for over the wing for example if you want those views um, and to do so first of all close down your sim completely before we do this and what you want to do is go to your well it's this strange looking Microsoft flight simulator file that you see here to do that you want to go to app data and the quickest way we could do this, if you go down to your uh, search bar and then you type percentage app data percentage, there's the folder, click it and it will load up. Okay. Click on app data and there we go. And you want to go to app data, local packages. So if we go app data, local we're going to look for packages, okay. then Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is going to be the only one that shows up here, but Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay. Now from in here, you want to go to local cache, sim objects, airplanes, and for here, because we're in the A320, you want to select the A320 Neo, and the only thing that should appear then is cameras. So you want to open this up. The easiest way of doing this is open with Notepad. Mine defaults to that. And open with Notepad. 
Now when this opens up, there's only one small thing you'll change here. Now at the top you have camera definition 0 or 1, it's slightly different but it's the very first one you won't be looking at, camera definition. And what we are looking for is on this setting here, initial X, Y, Z. Yours may well be zero or something like that, but set this to minus five, okay? Set it to minus five and then save. I'm not gonna save this because obviously I've, I've manipulated this, but that's it, minus five, save. Okay, so you've made that change and now we're gonna come back into the sim and start saving those wing views. So what we're gonna do is position ourselves where we need to be over the wing and where we want our view set. Okay, now keeping in mind that, you know, we are gonna be looking on the outside, but if you then say, right, I want this as my view um, for, I don't know, as mine would be uh, Alt 4, for example, or if we go here, here's my Alt 4. So I said, right, I want this to be Alt 4. And actually, do you know what? I think I like that view more. So at the moment, this, how you do here? This is my Alt 4. However, having decided, you know what? I prefer this shot here as my Alt 4. I'm going to do my, as my save view was, is Control, Alt, and 4. Now that should have saved that view. So if we go back into the flight deck and I press Alt 4, there we go. Okay, so what you're going to do here is find all the wing views that you're happy with. So all the different wing views, save them as views. Like I said, for me, I have Alt 0 as my flight deck, Alt 2 for looking down at the CDU because 0 to 2 is like looking down, Alt 5 over the the whole pedestal and eight gives me that view of the nose and then so I know where the the wings are is that alt and keypad seven is the front of the left wing alt four is the over wing alt one is rear of the wing and then again alt and keypad three rear of the right wing center of the uh, right wing and forward of the right wing on the nine so you get the idea, it just it makes it easy for me to visualize that point there. But essentially, that's all there is to it. And there's nothing more than that. Um, you'll save your wing views, and every time, don't be wrong, when you spawn into the flight deck, it will remember your view, which will most more than likely be here, the default starting one. You know, you just set to where you want it is, and away you go. Save those views. Super simple. But if you do have any questions, you know, please ask in the comments below. And there's also a Discord channel for both where you'll find myself in there. Um, but also, I am part of the Flight Sim Network. Um, so you can come into the Discord. Again, link below and uh, ask any questions in the Discord you want to do from there. But for now, as always, stay safe, take care. See you soon.